Uh, what are the first steps that a non-expert or a relatively experienced journalist can make to work on sensible data? What online communities maybe it could rely on? I mean, at first you're probably going to want to learn some of the basic tools, like how to send encrypted messages, how to store data securely. Obviously, there are two different types of encryption, but you're going to need both for handling the data and communicating with sources. Online communities, there are plenty of dark web marketplaces that sell all sorts of things, including like hacked material. So just getting familiar with them and familiar with like the language used on those markets is probably going to be helpful to start with. And journalists that feel empowered by leaks and data breaches and start to delve into massive data dumps to pursue their own stories. So the issue with large unredacted dumps and uncurated dumps is that there's a lot of space for people to interpret the data in their own ways. As in with the DNC email leaks, we had this Pizzagate conspiracy where people were reading into it themselves and there are plenty of legitimate citizen journalists, but then people digging through these dumps there's a real danger of amplifying dangerous and false information. Uh, you often speak about new tools and new software that gets available online. Um, are law enforcement rules and technical c knowledge equally crucial for a journalist who want to work on this kind of information? So, irrespective of whether you're using proper tools or not, you should be familiar with the legal aspects of handling and republishing and amplifying this data. Say, you probably wouldn't publish the full phone number of someone who's not in the public interest, for example. And as for tools, you can use them. Uh, it makes your reporting more quick, more effective, but you don't necessarily have to use them. It would just be probably unwise to ignore them when they're just so helpful to journalists.